so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though Wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so Spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you Get next to you Not asking for much but There's like the two of us are gold And our gold you see What do you good so take a chance Take a chance on me It's magical Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my investment buys of the year. 2020 has been a crazy year to say the least and it has simultaneously both been very slow and very quick and I'm not sure how that's possible but it's been a strange one to say the least. 2021 can only be better, but I know that as we approach the end of the year, a lot of you are planning your sale shopping. So I thought I would go ahead and round up my investment buys of the year. So these are items that are either newer to me or old favorites. So it is a combination, but I really wanted to focus in on investment buys, mainly because, you know, obviously we haven't gone out much in 2020. Who knows what the next few months will hold. And so I'm really looking at items which I absolutely love now, but I also see loving in my wardrobe for the foreseeable future for the next two, three, five years. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video does continue on my collaboration with Farfetch, who I have partnered with quite a few times before, and they are just an incredible destination for all things luxury. If you're not familiar with Farfetch, I know most of you are and already shop with them and love them, but essentially a Farfetch allows you to shop from boutiques all around the world. So it is really unique in the luxury world. And because they allow you to shop from boutiques all around the world, their stock selection is completely unrivaled. You can literally find anything you want there. They just seem to have every style from every brand and it's just such an amazing shopping experience. And everything that I'm featuring here today is available from Farfetch. So I will go ahead and link everything in the description section if you did wanna check anything out. I do have a discount code with them as well, so you can get 10% off your purchase. It is only available for new customers and there are some T's and C's, so I will pop all the details down below in the description section, but there are so many amazing things included and 10% off is always very, very welcome. So first up is actually a new in purchase that I got, um, but I got it to kind of go with a few items which are already old favorites in my wardrobe. Um, so I'll show you what I got, which is this a little item from Fendi. And inside is a little scarf. And I've never really kind of gotten into the twilly or the scarf trend, but I've been mean, seeing it more and more. So I decided to give it a go and I've already tried it with my Fendi peekaboo. I absolutely love the look of it. And what really kind of attracted me to the idea is the idea of taking things which are already in your closet and just making a small tweak and making them feel kind of brand new and really just enjoying what you have. Um, and I saw this scarf and I thought the colors were beautiful and it's kind of all the colors I like. So you have this lovely camel tone, you have the black stripe and then you have this baby pink. And I thought this was so great. And I love the idea that even though my Fendi peekaboo isn't that old, it really has kind of freshened up the look. So I have my Fendi peekaboo right here and I still absolutely love this bag and I think it's beautiful. Um, but I love the idea that I can just kind of add this on. I can choose whether to do the camel on the black or I can choose to have the pop of pink. And I love the versatility. And just adding it on just gives the whole bag a new look, I think. And I just love this idea. So I always think it's worth well, you know, I'm a big believer in small accessories. I'm a big believer in all accessories, to be honest, but I think smaller accessories are a really great way of updating things in your wardrobe, whether that is, you know, a brooch on a coat or a little scarf on a bag. I think there are so many ways without kind of going ahead and buying a whole new bag of making something just feel completely fresh and exciting all over again. And I love this entire look. So for my next investment buy of the year, you'll probably be able to guess because I'm surrounded by Givenchy Antigonas. There could be worse things to be surrounded by, absolutely. Um, I love this bag. So this one is the one I got last year. This is my black one. And then I went ahead and got the mini one in the kind of pale gray color this year. And for me, these are absolutely investment buys. And again, when I say investment buys, I'm not talking about stocks and shares and kind of proper financial investments, but really items 
items which are a splurge but I think I'm going to get just so much wear out of and that I imagine having in my wardrobe for many many years and I do always like to think about cost per wear and you know that balanced also with just how much joy an item brings you and I love these bags so much. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, I do like, my heart is still absolutely with my black one, which is in the small size, but I adore my small one as well. I haven't had a chance to use it as much as I would like, but hopefully that will be changing soon. But I love the look of it and everything I kind of loved about this style is definitely present in the mini as well. I think they are so beautiful and elegant and they just kind of make my heart sing. You know, when a bag just really kind of speaks to you and that is what happens when I look at these two. And I actually think that's a really useful criteria in terms of trying to determine how long an item is going to stay in your wardrobe and if you're really going to get that cost per wear down because if you just love to look at it and you get excited about the thought of using it, it's just a very, very good sign. You know, you can always go for neutrals and practical shapes, but there is also an element when it comes to luxury bags about just picking items that you really, truly love. And for me, these are just absolutely it. So adore these, definitely an investment buy of the year for me. This one wasn't this year, but it still remained a favorite in 2020. And me, you just can't go wrong with this style. I love it to bits. And speaking of old slash new favorites, um, my Burberry scarf, and I wanted to include this. I know I speak about these scarves a lot, um, but in terms of investment buys, I don't think I can think of anything that's better value than this. And I say value because it is a really an expensive item, but considering how classic they are and how much longevity they have, you know, this is something that you can genuinely have in your wardrobe for decades. It's already been around for decades. They're wonderful quality and they do have such a big impact on your outfit, especially when it comes to winter when, you know, often all you see is your overcoat and then, you know, maybe some boots in your bag. This really does kind of add that little something extra. They come in every single possible kind of color and combination. So regardless of whether you wanted something, you know, a bit more classic like the camel one, something darker, or if you wanted to go full on girly like the pink one that I have, there's just an option for everyone. And I do think it just does so much to elevate an outfit. I did check as well and my discount code is available on the Burberry scarves. And I just think they are a fantastic buy, which I've been enjoying in my wardrobe for a couple of years. And I just anticipate using them for so many more years. I don't ever see myself parting ways with my scarves. And especially if you aren't a particularly flashy dresser, you know, if you're someone who doesn't really love really loud logos, I do think that the Burberry scarf, yes, iconic, but it isn't overly flashy. It's still very classic. And I just think they're so elegant and wonderful. So definitely an investment buy of the year for me. I feel like it's an investment buy of every single year. This one is new to me this year and I just love it, but I love the entire range. I think they are truly fantastic. Next up is a new in bag purchase. And even though it is new, I still thought it deserved a place in my investment buys of the year video because this isn't necessarily a new style. Um, so it is the Mulberry Alexa. This is the new mini style, but any long time bag lover will know the Alexa style is not new and I missed out on it the first time round. Um, they were a really, really big it bag when they were first released and they did die down in popularity a little bit, but Mulberry have re-released them in a larger size and then this adorable mini size. And there is absolutely a sense of nostalgia for me. You know, I did want it the first time round and I wasn't able to get it. And so when I saw this, I was like, I'm just so ready for the Alexa to come back. And I saw this adorable mini size. I was like, oh my goodness, I need this bag in my life. I dithered about it for about a day and then that was it. I just love the idea of this so much. And they have made little adjustments to the design, I think. Um, so you do have the turn lock. You also have these magnetic buttons on the front as well. And then this is kind of brand new. So I've not taken off the packaging or anything like that yet but it is the most gorgeous leather. I always feel like Mulberry leather is so great. It's very, very roomy as well. So it has that great smushy feel to it, but with plenty of room, you have a pocket on the back there. And then you also have these straps, which are adjustable as well. 
I just love the mini size. I love the fact that they re-released it in the smaller size, you know, mini bags are still such a massive trend and I just think this is just so perfect. Um, I went for, I think this was supposed to be the white color. For me, it's more kind of like a very light gray slash off-white. I think it's beautiful though. Um, to me, this is just, such a perfect little bag. So as you can tell, I'm a little bit excited about it, but this is one which considering I missed out on it the first time around, and I'm just so thrilled to finally have the Alexa in my bag collection. I just love the style so much and time will only tell what happens with all the re-releases. You know, there's the Fendi Baguette, there is the Dior Saddle, and this is just kind of the latest in that long list, but I am definitely very excited to have this finally in my collection, especially in this adorable adorable mini size. Next up is an accessory pick, which I have spoken about before, but I genuinely think that there is no better way if you did want to, you know, buy a new accessory, but you didn't want to break the bank and you wanted to get something a bit smaller. I don't think that there's a better choice than this one. Um, so it's the designer belt. I think that it's such a great way of updating and upgrading so many of your outfits, especially if you pick well. And I think that's going to come down to kind of how you dress if you're more of a skirt person, then I would go for a higher waist belt. If you are more of a denim person, then I would go for a lower one, but whatever your style, I think that there is a belt for you. And in terms of bang for your buck, I do think that they represent great value for money. You know, they are certainly not as expensive as getting a whole new luxury bag. They still, you know, are very distinctively luxury and a lot of them have quite large logos, but a lot of them are also more subtle. Again, there's something for everyone, um, but I do think it has the power to completely transform your outfit, make a very inexpensive outfit look a lot more expensive as well. And again, the costs are just not comparable when you talk about a belt versus a luxury bag. There is a lot in it, and I think they are just seriously great accessories. This one from Saint Laurent I got, I think right at the beginning of the year and it served me very well, even with the knowledge that, you know, we haven't been going out that much. When I have wanted to dress up, I just popped on a dress and I've cinched this in. And you know, it doesn't feel as silly as walking around in shoes or anything like that. It still feels kind of nice and pulled together and just sometimes you need to dress up. And I do feel like this kind of really fits the bill and I just love them. So regardless of which one you go for, I also have a Valentino one I love, I have a Louis Vuitton one I love. I've really been loving the Saint Laurent one, um, but whichever one you go for, I do think this is a great option. Finally, I have a few Saint Laurent pieces which I had to include in this video. Um, you guys know how much I love Saint Laurent and especially if we're talking about investment buys into your wardrobe, you know, if we're not talking the usual suspects of Chanel, Hermes and Louis Vuitton, if we're looking at brands outside of that, I I really can't think of another brand except for maybe Dior that does as well in terms of bags which really do have great longevity and which just look very very classic and I think that they have already kind of stood the test of time you know for me the Saint Laurent wallet on chains look just as classic now as they did when they were first released you know I bought mine four years ago and I feel like they're as, as popular as ever which for me it just kind of excludes it from that overly it bag category you know usually it bag runs are much shorter than that and I do think they are just really, really classic. Um, so I have a few pieces that I wanted to mention, some old favorites, some newer ones. Um, so new in, they have a new SLG line and it's just right up my street and you'll see why in a second. But um, in here, this little card holder, they have released an entire line of SLGs in polka dot. I feel like they've just been kind of reading my mind because if you watch this channel regularly, you may know that I have a bit of a thing about polka dots and I also love Saint Laurent a lot. Um, so for me, this is just a combination of all the things that I love. The card holder is beautiful. I absolutely adore it. So it is a smooth leather and then it's white with a black polka dot. They also do a black with a white polka dot, which I also got as well. I just think they are so, so beautiful. It has the gold Saint Laurent stamping right there all the different card slots and then it just zips open. It is so, so cute. I just adore the look of it. I have the black one here as well. This is the black one. So this is the flat design with the YSL logo right there with the different slots on each side. 
and I just immediately fell in love with these when I saw them. I believe they also do the polka dot design in the bags. Um, I'm not sure that I could pull off a polka dot bag, so I just went for the SLGs just as a little bit of fun, but I thought these were fantastic and very much up my street. And I just don't think you can go wrong with a Saint Laurent SLG in general. And then finally for my very last pick, I had to go for the Saint Laurent Lulu line, which is just totally stolen my heart. I absolutely love this line of bags and all the various iterations. Um, so first up, and I have a few picks here because I, I couldn't decide, um, but my Saint Laurent Lulu in the small size, I tried all the sizes at this point and this one is definitely my favorite. And I do think this is just such a classic bag. You know, it has all the elements of a classic bag. I do think it's something that's going to be in my wardrobe for many, many years. You know, I love the drop. I love how comfortable it is. I love the look as well. I think it's a great looking bag. There are so many color combinations. So really it's something to suit everyone. And if you're looking for a classic style, which isn't a Chanel level money, I think this is a fantastic buy and it's something that I do envision just wearing for so many years. And then I also did want to mention my puffer line, which I still absolutely love. And I know lots of people don't like this bag and thought it was a very quick passing trend, but it's back again this year. I think it's going to be popular again next year. Obviously only time will tell, but I don't see any signs of it kind of dying out. And maybe it's because it isn't kind of absolutely everywhere, but I love this bag. And I know so many of you guys who got the bag also have just messaged me and said how much you love it too. It is one of those styles I think that when you get it, if you do like the look, you'll just fall in love with it because it is such a comfortable, great style. And even though it's a bit more of a quirky design, I do see myself wearing this for so many years. I just love the smushiness. I love the leather and I love the E. So it kind of ticks all those boxes and I've just been still enjoying it so, so much. And then I also did want to mention the mini as well, because I do get quite a few questions about the different sizes. Um, I would say that I prefer my original kind of out of all the different ones I have, um, not because I just like the other two. I just really, really love that one and would highly recommend it to anyone. This one I also love though, and this one is my next favorite. This is the mini size, so this is only available to wear kind of on the shoulder or crossbody. You can't double loop it, but it's adorable and so lightweight and, it's just a fantastic style. So if you wanted the puffer style, liked the overall look, but wasn't sure about the kind of size, because it is quite a large bag, this is a fantastic option, particularly if you do really like your mini bags and wanted something that was just very functional and very comfortable. This is a fantastic choice and it does have the kind of makings of a more classic style. Whether the puffer style is around for kind of years and years, I'm not sure, but I've also been around long enough to know that a lot of these styles and trends do come back around into fashion. This is not the first time a puffer style has happened and I'm just so happy to see it back. I think it's wonderful. So love the line, love the entire Lou line, but these are definitely my favorites. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As promised, I will leave links to everything I featured in the description section below, as well as all the details for my discount code. If you have any questions for me though, leave me a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.